Hello everybody, my name is Old Man Daisy, and welcome to my new Let's Play of Reset here. I've actually played this game once before, but it's been a very, very long time, so I'm gonna go ahead and dive right back into it. Basically kind of like an RPG, shop, action type game. Yeah, very weird, but it's actually very, very, uh, very, very cute and actually very, a lot of fun. So let's get, let's get started. Alright. Oh, for the love of, she is still asleep. Does she really not understand how important today is? Purple. Can't eat another bite. But I can always find room for yummy candy. Purple, purple. Wake up, please! Whoa, what? Who was it? Oh, good dear. Good morning. We do not have time for a good morning, Nersete. Are you planning on spending the rest of your life dreaming of sweets? Today is the day we set for opening the store. Oh, we did? Oh yeah, we did! Murde, of all the... Listen, go wash your face and make yourself presentable. And then join me downstairs in the storefront. Okay, I'll be right down. Like I said, it's a very cute game and... Basis of, in the basis of the story will probably be shown through the dialogue here. Hey, sorry I kept you waiting. Okay, dear, let's open the shop right now. Capitalism, ho! Patience, Retete. It is a virtue you will need. We need to take care of a few matters before we officially open. Or open officially. Huh? Like what? Oop, I have a cat on me. Okay. Well, I somehow doubt that a store without anything to sell is going to attract all that much business. Uh... Oh yeah, we don't have anything to sell. So, uh, what do we do? To start with, we need to establish a stock of items for the store. If we have nothing to sell, we cannot claim to be much of a shop. That's true. Hmm. So where should we go to get stocked up? The best way, I think, would be to visit either the town market or the merchant's guild. We need to give our regards to the head of the guild regardless, so that should be our first, prior first stop. Oh, that's the place run by that old guy, right? The guild operates as a wholesaler for local merchants, so if we stop by, we could purchase an initial stock. It would not hurt to grow, Grover give our plight regard, <laughs> give our plight regards to the guild chief either. Especially since the guild is the organization that allows us to operate here in the first place. Okay, got it. Then let's go right now. When you want to leave the shop, head to the front door currently, located in the upper right hand corner of the store. Oh, but I wanted to leave through the window like an action hero. To eternity and... Reset day! Okay. Yeah. Like I said, very, very cute game. I mean, and really, it's actually a really good, really good game in my honest opinion. So, let's go ahead and head on out. So it looks like in, uh, usually if there's anything out there we that we need to go to or anything interesting happening, it's usually highlighted. So we are heading to the Merchant's Guild. Hello! Hmm, <laughs> a girl in the ferry. You two are. Yes, we're resetting the Lone Shark. Well, that's, that, that is not, well, an incorrect assessment. Could I ask you that you refrain from calling me a Lone Shark? That's right, mister. She's She and I are partners. Don't be mean. <laughs> forgive me, forgive me. Partners it is. Oop. So... How's the preparations for running that shop coming along? Quite well, thank you. In fact, we plan on opening today, so we stopped by in order to show our gratitude for your help. Haha, <laughs> very good. You two know what's, what's what. If you have any problems, let me know. I'll be glad to help. We appreciate your kindness. Thank you. Um, we, are, we appreciate your kindness. Thank you very much. Not a problem at all. So, you came straight here to pick up some merchandise, right? Well, up in the counter then. Let's get you two sorted. This is our first time stocking up. Our funds are limited, so do not go completely overboard. I recommend purchasing no more than 10 items. Okay, y'all. All right, so yeah, you can definitely buy from the merchant, from the uh, guildmaster here. He actually has a few items in stock, and usually your goal is to basically buy low, sell high, to basically pay off a debt. There are, and as far as everything goes, I don't know where this, I don't know when the story picks up exactly. Like I said, it's been quite a while, but 
it should pick up quite in a little while. So let's see here. Let's see what he has to talk here. Okay, and this is basically all about like all the extra stuff you can, all the stuff you can do basically with a uh, with like say for example merchant levels about the town, unknown items, fusions. Fusions are very important to combine items, obviously. And what's the guild in what is the guild in particular? But let's go ahead and start buying. And there is a limited stock. And what the, what what they, usually, what they usually recommend is again, buying low, selling high. Um, I recommend buying a couple of these gloves, just to start off with. Buying some clothes and one raincoat, because in all honesty, that's a, those are good starter items. And then let's go ahead and leave. Right then, will that be all? Yep, this is perfect. We shall return when our stock runs low again. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Here, a little extra something. That's a star off gift. Yay, walnut bread! Thank you. Thanks a bunch. Alright, little lady. Give him your all. Capitalism, ho! Well, Adam, S Adam Smith would be proud of us at any rate. Alright. Back to the shop. Alright, very well. It is time to give you a crash course on the basics of running an item shop. Okay, what do I do first? First we need to put some items on display. If we do not have our goods are out for people to see, we can hardly expect that the customers buy them after all. So I just need to get the get uh, to get near these counters. Just so, once you know where to you wish to place something, choose what you wish to place on it. That spot uh, on that spot by pressing the primary button. Primary button? A fourth wall breaking. You'll understand when you try it, trust me. And this cat really likes my lap for some reason. All right. Now remember, what you place will affect how people perceive the store. So think carefully before you place something. Right. Now then, start off. Why not line up what we purchased on one of the counters? Okay. So. What we're, uh, now, there is something that we can... Uh, that There is something special about this. And basically what it is is that... When, uh, uh, as far as these counters go... Any counters that are near like this large display window right here, people will see those items if it's and sometimes they, and a lot of times they actually basically calculates how many people will come into the store as far as everything goes. So it's like okay, you know, if it's a clothing shop, if we have a bunch of clothes, a lot of, a lot of people that are looking for clothes will come in. You know, stuff like that. So let's say we'll go ahead and put some clothes right here. Miss Hayden, may I speak with you for a moment? Sure. What is it? Those counters by the window. Items you place there are visible to anyone pass behind the street. As such, putting eye-catching items, the sort of thing that makes you think, I want to buy this more than anything on these counters, is a core principle of running a shop like this. In a very real way, those counters are the face of the front of the shop. And what is placed there greatly affects interest in our business. So choose what you place there very, very carefully. Ooh, I never thought about it like that. Okay. I'll be careful. Basically, kind of why I just went over. Um... Right now we don't really have much, so I can put a raincoat right here. It's kind of in the center display. And I'll keep the walnut brick. So then Let's see here. Go ahead and place all these here. And we have the walnut bread. So that should be everything. Alright, that should do for our display in our wares. Are you sure it doesn't look dumb, I do not worry, everything looks good enough for a first attempt. Now I need to teach you how to actually sell things. Yay! Please, go sit at the counter. Alrighty then. Well then, the items are in place and now and now you need to learn how to actually sell things to pe people without embarrassing yourself. Okay, yo. So let's start with, I will lecture, uh, so to start with, I will lecture on the actual process of selling an item that we have displayed. Yes, professor. If the, student, if the students do not listen, they do not get any credit. Er, right. Now then, when a customer enters, be sure to greet them with a nice big welcome. Uh, welcome! Greeting the customer helps them to feel comfortable and relaxed while in the store. Their comf comfort is fundamental to our business. Remember that as we continue. Now, a typical customer will find an item they want on our displays, and then they will come over to the counter to pay for it. Let me demonstrate. Can I get this, please? Uh... What they want will be in the target window. 
you'll also be able to see the, the name and base price. Pay attention to the, that base price. Also, if you press button 3, you will give you expanded information on the item in question. Consult the custom.exe program included with Reset here if you wish to you check or alter your button configuration. Wait, button 3? Custom.exe? Focus, Reset, your life is hard enough to control as it is. Oh, jeez. The fourth wall breaking, I swear. Eh, okay. Now then, next you must decide what price you wish to offer. In general, you want to try and name a price higher than the base. Find your price, if you will. Okay, let's see. Now, this is interesting because the basically the goal is basically buy anything as low as... All the way as low as 70% and bank and pay higher, uh, higher, smaller around like 100, 10, 120 to 30%. Um, it's actually different for every type of person, and we'll actually get into that later. You will likely notice that the base price starts as your default. To raise your offer, press up. Press up? Okay. So, like say for example, I want this to be about 120% more than the base price. So I went ahead and made it 1440. One second. You can obviously modify it as you will, but you know, um, I like to try to be a hundred twenty percent because a lot of uh, a lot of customers, um, base uh, um, a lot of customers uh, price overages such as uh, basically overlapping around twenty percent, a hundred twenty percent. So let's try that. Yes, very good. That is how you to adjust your offer. As as might be obvious, if a customer is satisfied with your offer, it is a sale, and you get a little bit of experience along with money. If your price is too high, however, a customer will simply walk out. Learning to determine a proper price, there lies a challenge. Now, if a customer disagrees with the price, but not so much that they will storm out, then you can negotiate. Remember what I said about comfort earlier? This is the key here. Offer price, but do not make it so outrageous that customers feel you are not acting in good faith. So if they disagree, but say, but say offer a new price. Ideally, you will lower your offer a little, and they will take it and give you a sale. Some customers may just be trying to sniff up about their deal when they are really willing to pay you the initial price, however. Whenever or not you risk testing that possibility is up to you. How long can you keep haggling? Well, that depends on how regular customer the person in question is. As we are starting out, you will not be able to haggle for very long, but after customers begin to trust us a little, you can haggle for a longer period of time. Well, time to put the theory into practice. Okay. Ah, welcome. Can I get this, please? Okay, I pick a price, right? Need to be higher than the base price up button. Uh, yes. Like I said, 120% is why I like to go for it. Good. At this level, a customer will likely buy immediately. Right then. Now for the fine art of haggling. Theoretically, what you do is you, is you lower your prices slowly. But as I mentioned, there is a limit how long you can haggle. The idea is to deduce a customer's desired price and go from there. Oop. You say you deduce a desired price, but uh, a large number of the stores sell at about 30% over base price. It is not a hard and it's not a hard and fast rule, but people will usually set that price level. Usually. If you can manage to go over that, you'll make a lot of money, but you do not want to risk driving away a customer. Right then, so as I, as a customer, I am haggling. Should you make it a little bit cheaper? Okay, gotta make it cheaper, but not too cheap. So, I'll go down like to about 114, 113, usually about 7%. There we are, reducing the price to this level makes the sale likely. Well then, that covers just about everything. Now, let's put an entire lecture into practice all at once. If you can sell me an item, you will be ready to, for what lies ahead. Let us begin. Hello, welcome to Reset here. I would like this, please. Alright. I'll try for 120 again. Yes, an excellent price. Thank you very much. Yay, I sold the sword for 3600 picks. Excellent, let us do that one more time, just to be sure. They do kind of baby you through the beginning here, but it's definitely a, quite a bit helpful for a, a, at least the newer players. Hello, welcome to Reset here. I would like this, please. Now let's see if I can get a little bit higher. Yes, an excellent price. Okay. Expertly done. If you ever wish to practice, again, simply ask me anytime we are in the shop. Can't skip over those few texts because it's, because it's pretty obvious at that point, but anyways. And that is, that is essentially how it goes. You are quite good for someone who has never done this before. <laughs> really? Still have a little bit of time left today, so let us go and open up the store proper. If anyone comes in, simply handle them in the same way that we just practiced. Whoa, are you sure you'll be okay? Do not worry. As the saying goes, salesmanship is more of an art than it is a science. You learn as you go. Now then, I will open us up. Go on and sit at the counter. Okie dokie. Or okay, Dave. Welcome, can I help you with anything? 
Ooh, I didn't know you had nice things like this. Um, and now here's where here's where some fine tuning comes in because every type of customer usually has a percentage that basically they will all that they will not only agree with, but they will absolutely love. And that actually increases the customer experience. So basically, when the customer experience and they gain a level, their wall sizes actually get larger, which allows you to sell higher end items. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can't go for, say, for example, uh, well, wow, that's a that's a math problem right there, huh? But you know, I'm going to go ahead and try selling around 117 percent. Can't handle really too much, really. That's that'll be fine. Thank you so much. Congratulations, you did well. I sold stuff. I, me, Resente, I sold stuff. Like the people. Hey, Tear. I, I'm so happy I, I did it. Tear, I did it. Papa, I did it. And here, I think, is where... And that's how we start running the item shop. Oh, you're wondering why we started an item shop at all? Yeah, here we go. Here's the story. I was wondering where it was. Well, to explain that, you need to understand how Tyr and I first met. Easy Game Station presents... <coughs> Pardon me, I... <coughs> Pardon me, a tale, a fairy, a girl, and how to run an item shop. <clears throat> the rest that's here. Let's see. Yep, the calendar says it's been three months since Papa left. I don't get why he suddenly said, I'm going to be a hero. And then he took off without saying when he'd be back. I really hope he's okay. I'm getting lonely. Well, I shouldn't worry too much about him. The best thing about him is how tough he is. He'll be okay. What? Papa, what knock? Who is that? <coughs> yes, who is it? Huh? There's nobody here. Wait, what? At my feet? Good evening. Um... You're Mademoiselle Recette Lemongrass? Uh, Miss Fairy? Pardon me, but I am asked I am the one asking the questions. Again, are you you are Resette Lemongrass? Uh, um yes, I'm Resette. My name is Tyr. I am an agent of the term finance company. Finance company? I'm here to collect a payment on a loan paid out to your father. Here's the contract in my identification. Uh no? Repayment? I uh In plain terms, I'm here to get our money back. If you are incapable of facilitating payment, this house will be seized as collateral in order to repay the loan. Facilitating collateral seize? What? But but, but uh, I but I I Papa Papa isn't he is not here. Yes, I see that now. Monsieur Lemagress disappeared following a fracas atop the local volcano, so we assumed he might have returned here. Even if he has not, however, the contract covers this eventuality. Covers this? Quite. As a sole remaining member of the ha his household, we shall require that you pay his debts in his stead. What? But that? how am I supposed to? I barely have enough money to live by by myself. Naturally, we are not demanding it. As we are not demanding it all be repaid at once. There is still a small amount of time before any payment is due. Therefore, am I going to get sold off in parts to distant fort lands to repay Papa's debts? I wonder if I can survive with only two internal organs. Maybe if I eat a lot of spinach, then that can replace my blood and... Oh, but I don't want to be a sailor. What am I going to do? Ahem. <clears throat> Please listen to me for a moment. I have no clue where you're getting these ludicrous ideas from. But I would never do such a thing. Quite the opposite, in fact. I was sent here to ensure that you wouldn't have to resort to such... Well, of certain methods to pay us back. But what? I have been sent to support you to the fullest of my ability so that you may repay the debt via labor. What? But I've never worked a, day, a single day in my life. Experience has no bearing in this case. All that matters is whether or not you are willing to work. Aww. Work. 
If you don't wish to work, that 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 is it. The house has terms. Now we'll have to ask you to leave the premises. As the saying goes, those who do not work do not eat. So, Miss Lemongrass, what will it be? Which will it be? Work or the house? I'll work then. Splendid. But but I don't even know what I could do. Actually, I already have an idea on that front. You are aware, of course, that this city is an adventure hub. In addition, the house is facing out onto one of the many sea lanes. Or this house faces out onto one of the many sea lanes. Pardon me. Therefore, I promise converting the house. I propose converting the house into an item store. Item store? What? Really? So yeah, basically, her father was never seen again at that point, as far as I as far as I could tell. Resete. Uh oh. Oh dear. Oh dear. Mademoiselle Lemagrass. Uh, it was. I was only gone for a little while to do market research. Where could she have gone? <laughs> I am being silly. Of course she fled. Why would she not? All I did was threaten to take away everything she ever knew and loved. Asking her to turn the house into an item shop was foolish. Even if it was to repay the debt, the poor girl must be terribly confused. And on top of that, her father is probably... Wait, outside? Yeah. Yayness, it's done! Yeah. Hey, Tyr, look, it's done! What is that? It is our shop sign, of course! Doesn't it look cool? You can't be a shop without one of these, you know. Yes, well, it is quite well made, however... <laughs> I'm always good. At, I've always been good at making stuff. But that, as it may, while a nice sign is nice, I hmm. Is there a problem? Well, the name. You are quite sure you have thought uh, you have thought that through. Let's sit here. Well, we're partners, right? You said so. So put recite and tear together and recite Isn't it neat? Well, that is to say, the sentiment is commendable, but. It's the two of us opening the store, so the name should reflect that, right? You don't like it? Really, it's not that. Well, but, well, that is... That's the sign. Resetir. Ho! Resetir. Mispronounce it even slightly, and... Racket. Racketeer. Racket. The job is going to be even more absurdly difficult than I originally suspected, I fear. Oh, yay. And so, a fairy suddenly entered my life. One thing was for sure, this year wasn't going to be dull. Uh, and isn't that how all adventures start? A fairy enters someone's life. Alright. Merde. How is it possible to sleep this much each day? How? Zzz. Mm, yeah, dear. Uh, let's do the very best we can. Resete, wake up! Ah, uh, whoa, how? Who's on first? Uh, again. Uh, again, fourth wall break in just, and just, uh, little, little Easter, Easter eggs galore. Oh, dear. Right, good morning. The clock does not have a good morning hand. Vicente, you are the proprietor of an item shop now. You must learn how to be responsible and not sleep the day away. Hee <laughs> hee right. Why in the name of heaven are you smiling so much? That smile you had while sleeping is just getting bigger. Oh, no reason. I just think I saw something nice in my dream. Tear, let's give it our all. Well, if you r really are dedicated to make this work, watch yourself and meet me downstairs. Hi. Uh, will do. Bye. And this is how day two starts. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and leave it off here. Thank you for watching. If you like what you see, click like, subscribe, and share. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.